Welcome to Getting Started Video of EQM SERM. In this presentation, we will take a quick tour of EQM S application. This is a beginner's guide to help you start using EQM S. In this presentation, we will begin with the startup wizard, where we will enter all the master data for a quick start. We will also enter few inquiries or leads and enter its follow up and then close the lead and view reports. After you install EQMS, double click the icon to open the application. This is the login screen. Trial version has default login and password. Click login. Click I agree to continue. This is an initial startup wizard which would appear only for the first time when you log into the application. The wizard assist you to define master data so that you can quickly start entering lead information and follow-ups. These details can be later modified from the respective masters. Click Next. Let's start with creating users. Enter each employee name in a new line. By default, login IDs for these three users will get created. Login name and password would be first name of each employee. You can change these credentials later. To know more on creating users, refer the description given below. Click Next. Here you can create team, depending on the structure of your organization. In case of a flat structure select no team. Let's define team. Team can be created for location, product or according to your requirement. We can assign owner or manager to the team. You can change these details or create more teams from the team master later. Click next. You can enter your service or product details such as product name followed by price. In the next line you can add another product and its price. Click Next. Here you can enter region. Tracking region helps you to identify the region that generate more leads. Click Next. This is follow up type. Here you can put the mode for following up with prospect. Click Next. You can also capture the reason why you won or lost the deal. Capturing status helps you to identify your strong and weak areas. You can change these predefined reasons if required. Click Next. Now we are through with the wizard. Click Finish. This is the main screen. In Masters, you can add or modify the details that we entered in the wizard. Let us begin with the first stage. Enquiry, also commonly known as lead, is the initial stage in sales. Tracking these leads enable you to properly nurture them. Moreover, the lead information is required for forecasting sales and revenue. Click My Enquiry. When you receive a new enquiry, you can enter the details here, such as company name and contact information. Select customer type. This is to categorize the customers. You can also classify the customer according to the industry or sector. The best thing over here is all drop downs are customizable. That means you can add, modify or remove items from the list by just clicking on plus option. It will take you to the respective master. After adding click on R to refresh the list. Select region and source of enquiry. You may receive enquiries from various sources such as paper advertisement, referrals, websites etc. Tracking these details enables to identify the effective campaign or the source that generate more leads. Select lead priority according to expected closure. 
you can also put remarks and other details. Now, go to Product tab to add product inquired. Click Add. Select the product. You can change the quantity and price. The amount will automatically get calculated. Click OK. Similarly, you can add multiple products for the lead. Let's save this. Click Save. Enquiry number 1 is generated. Unique number is generated for each enquiry, which is useful for future tracking. Enquiry number becomes handy to quickly search the details. Let's check how it works. Put the enquiry number and simply press enter. Now, let's move on to the next stage. Second stage. Follow up. Responding quickly to prospects increase the chances of winning deal. Moreover, recording follow-up details provides the history of communication done with prospect for future reference. Let us see how to enter follow-up. Go to My Follow-up. In this screen, you can record the interaction you had with prospect during follow-up. Set reminder for important follow-ups so that you do not miss them. Track entire history of follow-ups. Let's understand this in more detail. Here you can see the list of inquiries that are pending for follow-up. Select Enquiry. The inquiry details are displayed for reference. To add follow-up details, click Add. Here you can select the date and time of follow-up. Select the follow-up type. In Remarks, you can put a brief description of communication which you had with prospect over phone, email or personal visit. For example, the prospect said, he is busy, so has asked to call, next week. So my next follow-up date would be, a day in next week. Here, I can put the time of my next follow-up. And even set, reminder and ask system to remind me 10 minutes before the call so I will get a reminder at 12.50 p.m. you can also put next follow-up remarks click save as you can see here my follow-up details are not visible in the list as I explained you earlier this list shows the inquiries that are actionable or pending so even if I have 500 inquiries in pipeline, it will show me only those that needs immediate attention. Click Show All to view all inquiries. Select Enquiry. You can also add multiple follow-ups for the lead. It becomes easier to view entire history of follow-up done for a particular lead in a single glance. Now let's move on to the final stage. Closure. Third stage. Closure. After a series of follow-up, the lead is moved to the next stage that is closure. Closure enables you to track the status of lead. Whether the deal is booked, lost or cancelled. It also helps you to monitor the sales performance. Let's update closure details. Go to My. Closure. Here you can see the leads that are yet to be closed. Select the lead and click on Update Enquiry. Select Date. Select Status. The list shows booked, lost and cancelled. Let's understand these terms. Booked. When you win the deal, it is tagged as booked. Lost. When a deal is lost to a competitor. Such leads can be tagged as lost. Cancelled. Lead can be cancelled in the following cases. If the prospect has inquired for the product, but has dropped his purchase requirement, or duplicate, data can be marked as cancelled. Select Reason. Reason helps you to understand your strong selling points. If you have announced a special Christmas offer, which has attracted sales, 
at the end of the year, you would be able to analyze if it is worthwhile having the similar offer for the next year. In remarks, you can put the offer details. Here you can also modify the product details if required, like delete the product, change quantity or price. You can even add payment details. Now let's save this. This ends the lead life cycle. Hence, it will no longer appear in the follow-up list. Now let's close this and check how the data looks in report. Reports gives you the insight of sales performance. The reporting tool offers flexibility to perform operations such as group, filter, aggregate, and sort. The data in report can be exported to Excel for further visualization and analysis. To view reports click report. The entire data entered in EQMS is available in reports. Select report to view the details. The functionality of report is simple, similar to Excel. You can filter, group, and aggregate data. The data can also be exported to Excel. You can use this data to build custom reports, pivots, mail merge, etc. Now let's check the graphical reports. The graphical data in MIS is useful for quick sales analysis. Go to MIS. Here you can quickly analyze the sales trend. Understand the source, region, product that is lucrative. You can zoom these charts for a clearer and better view. And also export charts in PDF format. Menu structure. Organized menu structure in EQMS provides easy navigation and quick access to information. Let's understand this in more detail. The My Menu option contains the information that solely belongs to the sales executive or the user who has logged in. This means he will be able to see only his data. The team manager will have access to the team's data. He or she will have rights to assign leads, closure and so on. The organization access can be given to a superior authority who would have complete access of the information in the system. The admin access is for system administrator who would have control over the administrative tasks such as user creation, access rights, backup and other configurations. EQMS also safeguards your data within built, backup, and restore facility. It prompts you to backup when you exit the application. EQMS has other additional features such as Upload existing inquiries from Excel Create team and manage their information Assign inquiry Follow-up reminder Create quotation Attach documents shared with the customers during inquiry and follow-up. Reopen closed inquiry. Send marketing, SMS, and emails to customers. Analytics dashboard. Complete snapshot of inquiry history. Access control to define user rights and privileges. With EQMS, you have option to host your data on cloud or on your private network. Well, this is it, about, EQMS. Hope you find this product useful, for your business. To download, and to know more, about EQMS, visit, spinso.com.